Hey and welcome back to the tutorial series. Today I will show you how you can manipulate the time block in a media tracker and can do things like a slow motion and overall time change, revert time, reverse time, something like this. All right, so take a look at what we're going to do today. All right, now in the media tracker, I have a um, mixed NV replay in here. Uh, this is a replay where I have a Canyon car inside of a valley map. Uh, but what we're gonna focus today doesn't matter in which environment it is. It even works in Shoot Mania. This is it, uh, it is the time block, and the time block is always on top on e of each other blocks. It's this gray one right here. And it has two keyframes which have values like a time value and a tang tangent. I don't know what's it called in English. So, to let me first explain you what are the keyframes in the time block. The keyframes of the time block uh, are essentially the time value. So, we see here we are at the keyframe which starts at 0, 0, 0, and the time value is 0. And the block itself ends at 1 minute 39 seconds and 28 milliseconds. And it has the same amount of seconds, which you can see here in minutes, as seconds entered for the value. So those 1 minute and 93 seconds is obviously 99 seconds. Okay, it's a little bit rounded up here, but you get the idea. So if I would put in a keyframe right here, can see that this keyframe has the value 52.802 actually we can't see that much into the time right here it's always a, a you know a different between some blocks which can get more precise values out of something so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check this replay there we go where it is there it is there's the replay and today we're gonna search for a good spot how about over here and we're gonna take this corner as a slow-mo and we want the car to be driving in real time again all right so first off the slow-mo how are we gonna make a slow-mo We need keyframes, of course. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find find the sweet spot right here. For example, I think this is a pretty good start position for the slow mo. So it comes in fast and then it gets slowed down. And I want the end keyframe. I wanna place the end right here. Alright. So, we have two keyframes. This is the beginning of the slow motion and this is the end of the slow motion. So, what are we gonna do to make this a real slow motion? It's simply, you just drag the second keyframe back or you can also uh, put the first keyframe more in front. The only thing you have to make is you have to make the space between those keys larger. Alright, so now we're gonna play this. It's already slower. Now it's even more slower. So the thing is not, of course, the replay will get faster after that because we took time from the re replay here and slowed it down. The thing is, it has still has to reach the exact amount which is put in here at this time. So it has to reach this. So we have to, uh, if we want to make the car move in the correct original speed afterwards, you see it's already going pretty fast then. Oh, slow mo, and then whoa. It doesn't look like it's super speed up, but it is actually speed up. Um, to fix this, we gotta change the time value a little bit. 
So we're gonna take the difference between those two. And I actually would like to change the position of the keyframe here a little bit. So I'm gonna delete this one and this one as well. And I'm just going for, let's see, let me check where the car is. Let's find a good, clean value like 25, 50 and something like this. 50. 50 should be good. See? And let me check the second keyframe. Can we get there a. Yeah, how about we use this position right here? Alright, so we got those two keyframes. And I'm just gonna make him larger. Oh, low thirty. All right. So what we're gonna need is the difference between this keyframe. And this keyframe but not the value the value has to stay because it's a time value you want difference here on the timeline so we need this time value right here all right so we got 25 50 and we got 30 so the difference between us is you actually take just like 30 minus 25 50 which would be then 450 and we're gonna add this to this one right here 450 it would be um, one minute, thirty. No, one minute forty-three and seventy-nine. One minute, one minute forty-three, seventy-nine. Okay, so we gotta drag it until here. Additionally, you could just enter this value into the block and. Okay, so this would be the easiest way, in my opinion. There are several ways how to do it. All right, now the uh, speed will be proper and it won't be sped up in the end. Yeah, that's original speed. All right, so now about camera and the slow motion. Yeah, so this is how it works. Now about a different part. How about slow uh, reversing time? Well, it's pretty easy. We just have to change the values again of the time block. So if I, for example, if I would just uh, copy those two keyframes, it would look quite hilarious. Okay, so I've copied this one right here, and I'll copy this one. Uh, this one copies this one. There we go. So <laughs> now it will be totally different. I'm gonna delete the camera so you can see. So now the car would go backwards. You just have to switch the time values. And this is how you reverse time. Okay, see, 62. This is 25, uh, uh, 26 and this is 26 and this is 25 right here. This is how it works. You just have to reverse the order of the time values. Uh, reversing the time values actually has just a little effect. If we can show you right here. It doesn't really change the, the amount of motion blur and the direction of the motion blur. But sometimes there are there are 
objects in your replay which then would look different if you can see you just can just see them slightly it always depends on the scenery usually there won't be a difference okay but it really depends on you can see it up here that there's something changed i really over over extended the motion blur in this screen just to show you all right so I hope you liked this replay, um, this tutorial, <laughs> this replay. You can download the replay in the description. You need the uh, Domino uh, Envy Mix title pack for it. And I hope I see you in the next episode again. Bye bye.